Northern non-resident Indian has been scripting unique success stories throughout the globe. This is the story of some of them from the region of Gulf, those who have been the true ambassadors whose vision and dedication has kept the Indian flag flying across the world. They come from different strata of society and from different professions. The common denominator is their success and the mark they have left in the country of their adoption. Presently, there are about 4.5 million Indians in the Gulf country. As one lands in Kuwait City, it is impossible to miss the Jashanmal skyscraper. Skyscraper, which is today a landmark in Kuwait, houses one of the biggest Indian retail and wholesale outlets in the Gulf region. They identified the call for an import-driven economy and explored its possibilities to the optimum. Tony credits the success to healthy relations of mutual confidence and respect. From a small beginning with just 14 employees, Virmani steered the company to the present glory with operations in Oman and UAE, employing over 6,200 people. Today, BEC is acknowledged as a leader in trading, contracting and facilities management. Virmani has weathered several cycles of intense recession and built a resilient organization capable of sustaining itself. Mr. M. J. Siddiqui is principal of India International School in Riyadh and has been an integral part of the larger effort of building the community's capabilities and strengthening its social infrastructure. Family is stable here because of the school. If you don't have a school, they will, the family will not stay here. Mm -hmm. And automatically, whatever the Indian are here because of family. Mm -hmm. The school is playing a very important role for the development of the full family establishment. Babu Kevalram is one of the veteran businessmen and a long-time resident of Bahrain. He has witnessed all ups and downs in the country's economy. His family has roots in the history of Bahrain since 1880, when his forefathers reached the shores of Bahrain for trading and financing of pearl exports for pearl divers. The business flourished and the Kevalrams expanded to showrooms specialized in textiles, garments, jewelry and shoes. For this family staying in a suburb of Mumbai for more than 20 years now, it has become pretty much a part of their lives to stay alone with their main bread earner earning in Saudi Arabia. Zamil Khan is a tailor by profession in the Al Hasa town of Saudi Arabia. His wife Nafisa knew even before her marriage that the man she is going to marry will be leaving his homeland for better prospects in the next year itself. But she was confident of his success. Today, she does not repent that decision. There are many more passengers like these who have extended their journeys to unmapped milestones. These are people who dreamt of a better life and made it all come alive. People who have the capability to respond to new opportunities and challenges, who, with their single-minded passion, have dared to go into terrains others find too risky. Many of them may not have hi-fi qualifications, but they all possess an overdose of guts and business acumen. Even in their temporary homes, they have managed to leave a permanent imprint. <laughs>